In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up a turntable camera animation just like this. Then I'll show you how to use the same method to create any type of camera rig in Blender. So let's get started. So obviously what I'm going to need is a camera. So I'm going to add one of those to the scene. And that's enormous, so I'm going to scale it down. What I like to do is basically find the distance roughly away from the object where I want the viewport to be. So I think about here looks good. And then if we press Control, Alt, Number Pad 0, that should automatically move the camera to be where the viewport was lined up to. I'll just zoom that, uh, scroll that down even more, scale it down even more. And now what we need to do is we need a track, a circular track for it to follow. So we're going to use a circle for that. Specifically, we're going to use a curve circle. It has to be a curve. I'm going to add that into the scene and we're going to scale this down until it's the same distance away from the model as the camera. And then if we press one, I'm just going to grab it on the Z axis and move it to about the same height. Right now I'm going to grab the camera. I'm going to turn on snapping and make sure it's on vertex. And there should be four points that you can see here, four different handles on the circle and we can snap to any one of them. So I'm just going to grab the camera and snap it over. And then we can turn snapping back off. We don't need it anymore. So now that the camera is lined up with the circle, what we need to do is select the camera, hold down shift and select the circle. Then press control P and that'll give us the parent options and we want to click follow path. Now if we go at the start of the animation and press play, you should see that the camera will move around and it'll do one lap, then it'll stop after about 100 frames. And we need to make some changes to that, but that's the right idea. So if we press zero at the moment, we can see that the camera isn't actually lined up in the right direction. So to put that right, what we're going to have to do is we're going to give it a target. So we're going to add an empty to the scene. I'll just use plain axes. You can use any empty you like. Add that to the scene and I'll just scale it down because it's also a bit big. And then I'm just going to line up this empty object to where I want the camera to focus. So I'm going to focus kind of just behind the back of the neck. And if I move that along so it's kind of in the center, that looks about right. Okay, then I'm going to select the camera over here. And I'm going to add a constraint using the object constraint property panel. I'm going to add a constraint called track two. The target is going to be the empty. And what that should do is it'll add this little dotted line saying that this camera is targeted to this and your camera will probably face the wrong direction like this. If it does, what you need to do is set the two axis to minus Z and up to Y. Now you can see that this camera is tracking to this empty perfectly. If we grab the empty and move around, the camera should move wherever it goes. Now, obviously what that means is in our animation, we can keyframe the position of this we can make the camera basically look around and focus wherever we want. But we're just going to leave it where it is for now in the middle of the scene. So now if we play that again, I'll actually go into the camera view here. You can see that we've got our basic turntable. The problem is it stops after 100 frames, which isn't good enough. The speed is kind of too fast. Let's say we want this to be um, an 8 second animation. That's 192 frames. So I'm going to set the end frame as 192 and to make it last 192 frames, the animation, select the circle, go down to the object data properties tab and open up this path animation. On the number of frames, just change it to be however long you want the animation to last. In this case, 192. And then if we play this now, what we should see is that I'll do a full lap. And then when it gets to the end of the animation, it'll start again and you won't even notice. So that's how you do a basic turntable style animation. Now at the start of this video, I said I'll show you how to do any sort of camera rig. Basically, all you have to do is add a different type of curve. If you want to make a dolly rig or something more complex, just use a different curve system and change it up. So what I mean by that is we can get just this circle. We can go into edit mode and we can grab these handles and make a much more complex track. 
So we can grab this one over here and move it kind of next to the face. And we can have this one high. And if we look at this, I'll put it in the material preview mode so we get a better look. And then if we press play from the start, you can see it kind of zips out and it goes in all sorts of crazy directions. It's still a loop and animation because it's still a circle, but you don't have to use a circle. You can use any shape. I hope you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, please give it a like. Also consider subscribing to this channel. I've got a lot more new content coming out in the next few weeks, and I hope you'll join me in watching some of that.